New York's Adirondacks and the Thousand Islands region were favorite retreats for millionaires of the Gilded Age. Have you heard of the heartbreaking tale of Bold Castle? Well, we'll take you there and tell you all about it. And Singer Castle on Dark Island, the only castle on the St. Lawrence to be completed and lived in during the Gilded Age. Then we'll visit Camp Sagamore, one of the first and largest of the Adirondack Great Camps. Also, we'll see a remarkable museum dedicated to one of the Gilded Age's most famous artists. Hello, I'm Derek Meerden. Welcome to A Path Through History, showcasing the rich heritage that is a vital part of New York State's amazing past. On Hart Island in the St. Lawrence River near Alexandria Bay stands an edifice to one of the most tragic love stories of the past century. In 1900, hotel magnate George Bolt began construction of a grand castle as a tribute to his beloved wife, Louise. Bolt spared no expense, building a six-story, 120-room castle complete with tunnels and Italian gardens. Then tragedy struck when Bolt's wife died suddenly. Grief-stricken, Bolt ordered construction to stop immediately. But today, Bolt Castle has been renovated, and the vision of George Bolt remains alive. Singer Castle was built in 1905 on Dark Island as the hunting and fishing retreat of Commodore Frederick Bourne, president of the Singer Sewing Machine Company. The four-story, 28-room stone castle was inspired by a Scottish castle featured in a Sir Walter Scott novel. Visitors can take a guided tour, learning about the castle's grand rooms and secret passages. Uniquely, visitors can stay overnight in the castle's royal suite. Born in Canton in 1861 and raised in Ogdensburg, Frederick Remington is most famous for his depictions of the American West. But Remington also produced a body of work on the North Country during his visits to the Adirondacks and his Thousand Islands summer home. Today, the Frederick Remington Art Museum in Ogdensburg contains one of the largest collections of Remington's work to be found anywhere, ranging from his masterful bronze sculptures to original paintings and sketches. Camp Sagamore on Racket Lake is one of the most historic of all the Adirondack Great Camps. Developer William West Durant built the camp beginning in 1895 and soon sold it to the Vanderbilt family. Today, the Sagamore Institute of the Adirondacks operates the 27 buildings that make up the estate with the intention of promoting education, historic appreciation, and the preservation of Great Camp Sagamore. Here are some other locations you can explore to learn more about New York State's Gilded Age. Camp Santanoni on Newcomb Lake, White Pine Camp on Osgood Pond, and the Waldheim on Big Moose Lake. I'm Derek Mearden, encouraging you to explore all these amazing places rich in the heritage that is a vital part of New York State's remarkable past, present, and future. Thank you.